A lot of these techniques that I've been teaching you about softening skin involved at least slightly blurring a layer. And a lot of professional retouchers look down on that. They don't want to blur too much, if at all. I don't like blurring, and I don't also don't really like at painting in a lot of content onto a new layer and adjusting the layer blending or the opacity or opacity of the brush. I came up with this technique after experimenting with using channels as layers. So if you go ahead and go to Window, then Channels, you'll notice it's got RGB if you have prog.jpg, the support file open. We have RGB, red, green, blue, the three primary channels of light in Photoshop. We have the red, the green, and the blue. And in a later section on black and white artistic conversions, I talk about red, green, and blue in the channels panel and how it's good to look at these and see what is in each channel. The blue has the most texture here, and then there's the green, and then the red channel is the softest out of the three of them uh, in this example. What I want to do is actually make the red channel a layer, and then we're going to use that to not just soften the skin like I've been doing in some of these examples in the other lectures. I'm also going to use it to lighten the image at the same time, and if it's too much, we can add an adjustment layer. So go ahead and open up prog.jpg and make sure you have the channels panel open and the layers panel. And on the channels panel, make sure you have just red selected here. And we're going to make a selection. You can go to select all, control or command A, or we can just click and drag around the area with the marquee selection tool. So making sure again, red is just selected in the channels panel. Go to edit copy or control or command C. Then let's create a new layer on the layers panel. So create a new layer and then go to edit paste. And now we have the red channel on its own layer. All right, so it's not the green channel. Let me uncheck the visibility here. So it's not the green channel, the blue channel. You see how those looks a lot darker. It is the red channel. So if I just had the red channel here selected as far as visibility goes, that should look just like as if we have the red channel selected with the background selected. All right, good. So what we want to do is change the blending mode because you notice it's a lot softer here. Some of the techniques we've been going over are these industry standard skin softening techniques in Photoshop. Well, and a lot of them involve blurring, not all of them, but you know, a lot of the techniques involve at least a little bit of blurring or painting on pixels and this one doesn't involve that. It will lighten the image a little bit though. So what we want to do is with the layer one selected up here, change the blending mode to overlay. And you'll notice it's already softer. We haven't painted on these pixels with the brush tool and then change the blending mode. We haven't blurred at all. It's just already softer because this red channel has the softest tones in the skin compared to the, the green or the blue. It's interacting with the layer below it with an overlay blending mode. The problem is it has lightened it a lot. You can adjust that if you go to the opacity and bring that down a little bit. I suggest about 50% for this example. And there's before and there's after. It's a lot softer. It is lighter though. So if you want to maybe darken it up a little bit, you can add a curves adjustment layer and up on default, just go to darker as a preset and we can still adjust it. And see what we can come up with here, yeah, something like that. The curves adjustment, we can also adjust that opacity and bring that down to about maybe 60% or so. All right, so there's without it, there's with it. It's just bringing a little bit darker tones back into the photo. So that's the effect. There's the before. I actually like it a little bit lighter. And with the adjustment layer, it does bring a little bit darkness back into the photo. But again, this is doesn't involve blurring at all. And it doesn't involve painting on pixels onto a new layer and adjusting the blending mode with the layer below it. It's just using the red channel as a layer and that is softening the skin automatically. So that's another skin softening technique one that I came up with just experimenting with the channels as 
as layers and how the red channel is a lot softer in these areas that we want to soften so we don't have to paint in at all. So there's the before and then there's the after.